Are you ready to take a break from the present? Come on a journey with me. Back to 8-Bit. Hello and welcome to Back to a Bit. Today I'm going to have a look at what parts you need to build your own Mr. FPGA uh, setup. I've seen many posts in the past on Facebook and in uh, groups and on forums about uh, people who are very new to the scene who would like to get involved with the Mr. FPGA uh, but are a little bit confused as to what parts they actually need because with the F Mr. FPGA you do really need to build your own. Now I know there are people out there that will probably build an, uh, a Mr. F kit for you, uh, but to save yourself a bit of money, you could, uh, you know, buy these parts separately and build your own to meet your own requirements. The Mr. FPJ is not a cheap way uh, to get yourself back into retro gaming. There is an expense to it, but um, it is worth every single penny, in my opinion. Um, if you look on the news groups and the Facebook groups, I I have yet to see anybody that's regretted uh, purchasing uh, one of these kits. So what I'll do, I'll have a look at the equipment you need to buy the full setup to make it an all singing and dancing mister. We'll look at the minimum requirements uh, for a setup to uh, uh, get you going in quite a comfortable position and then we look at the bare bones just the initial equipment that you need just to get the mister switched on and maybe play just a, a few of the uh, smaller um, arcade games that uh, uh, you, you can get on the uh, system right okay so initially we'll look at the full setup first of all uh, first of all you need the DE10 board which is something that you will need uh, for any of the setups in this uh, demonstration. Uh, the D10 nano board can be purchased from DigiKey uh, with a price of £121. Now, just before we go any further, the prices that I'm going to put on this spreadsheet, um, they are subject to change and then will fluctuate during time. So please don't hold me to any changes that you do uh, come across. And on the DigiKey website, you'll see the uh, DE10 uh, board that you can buy. And I know when I bought mine, it it arrived pretty much in a couple of days. The uh, delivery is super quick and the customer service from DigiKey is superb. So this is definitely the place that, uh, you know, you need to be able to purchase this from, regardless of uh, which country you're uh, living in. The next thing you need is the IO board. There we go, that's the I.O. board, which incorporates the uh, fan as well, that's part of the cooling process to keep your Mr. FPGA chip uh, going, keeping cool. You'll also have a, a few buttons on there as well to be able to activate certain shortcuts on your Mr. Okay. You'll also need a heatsink, which again, uh, helps with the cooling process of the chip again you can look at getting a case for it as well um, and there's quite a few different options for cases at different costs uh, you can get 3d printed ones uh, there's some quite flashy looking ones as well so again it's something just to uh, give your mister that uh, nice cosmetic feel also you uh, be looking at the power adapter okay now there is a power adapter that does come with the uh, D10 uh, nano board, but I would certainly recommend buying this one from the uh, Mr. FPGA uh, website or another recommended Mr. FPGA uh, supplier. Uh, and this is a little bit more durable and is more suitable uh, for reliability of your system. You would also need uh, 128 megabytes of RAM. Um, you could look at a lower amount of RAM to save you a bit of money, but I would certainly recommend going the full hog to use the uh, Mister to its full potential and 
get the 128 megabyte of SD RAM. And there you, you can see it there on the uh, Mr. FPGA uh, website. You'll also need the USB hub. And that is a specially designed hub to fit underneath your Mr. FPGA. So initially you would have um, your IO board at the very top of your Mr. And then you'll have the D10 nano board sat in the middle. And then at the bottom, you'll have the hub to make it your Mr. FPG box that you've seen so many uh, of on the uh, internet. And then you will need uh, a Wi-Fi dongle. Okay, now the Wi-Fi dongle, I would certainly recommend buying one of these from a Mr. Supplier or somebody that cl will clarify that the dongle will work with the Mr. Because not all Wi-Fi dongles will work with the Mr. So the Wi-Fi adapter here on the FPGA website, there you are, it's only $6.99. So that's the one you definitely would need to, to purchase. So don't risk buying one off Amazon or eBay. Go to one of the official uh, websites. And then you've got the uh, Mr. Inline Power Switch. Okay. Again, this is optional. You don't need it. But if you want the all singing and dancing version, it just allows you to be able to switch the units off at the switch of a switch rather than unplugging it every time. The other option is as well, um, and again, this is completely optional to you, is the audio tape input. And this enables you to load software onto your mister using a tape recorder. So if you are using the uh, Spectrum uh, core and you do have some of your old tapes lying around, you'll be able to get a cassette player connected to your mister and load games into it. Now, obviously this part isn't ex isn't that expensive. It's $7.49 and it's definitely worth a purchase if you do want to explore your, you know, loading from your old cassettes. On the uh, IO board as well, this also incorporates the line out socket so you can already save games to cassette using this plug if you wanted to um but you would need you know it doesn't include the uh well the the audio in socket that you would need to buy separately the total cost of that with these prices you're looking at 348 pounds and again as i said before i know it's expensive uh, but if you can afford it it is definitely worth every penny if you are seriously into your retro gaming because this unit uh, will allow you to play majority of the arcade uh, cores uh, quite a few of the old computer cores and a lot of the um console cores all under one uh, system and you know it's really simple to use and you know instead of having if you are a sort of person that likes to use real hardware instead of having all the uh, equipment around and all the computers lying around you could put it all into one box and run it off your mister now there is also a minimum setup requirement and again you need the uh, de10 board absolutely that's that, that's the key uh, element of it you can get yourself an external powered usb hub to replace the hub on the mister you may already have one lying around your your house somewhere or you can look on amazon and get yourself a, a cheap little external externally powered usb hub and again you still need a 128 meg run pack and again if you do want to save a bit of money you could probably look at the, the 32 megabyte uh sd ram but again that's something that you could probably look at you know, depending on what sort of cores you want, but I certainly recommend having a 128 megabyte of RAM. And instead of buying a case, you can just get yourself a couple of uh, protective plates. They're cheap enough just to keep your uh, components in good health. 
There is also a, a Mr. Fan Plate and Heatsink heat sink because in this setup you will not be buying the I.O. board. You, you don't need that I.O. board. You can do away with that and just buy yourself um, yeah, uh, the, the plate that just sits on top of your DE10 Nano, which incorporates the fan as well to keep your system cool. The only downside is you do lose some of the functionality of the I.O. board if you do want the extra connections like the uh, um, audio, audio output socket that we discussed earlier on. You, you, you will need to have the, uh, the inline power switch again if you wanted to. Again, you know, just so you can switch it off from the unit. But again, that's optional as well. You could probably do without that if you wanted to. And again, a, a, a Wi-Fi hub, a Wi-Fi adapter, as we discussed in the full setup. As well, um, you do need an SD card. You do get an eight gigabyte SD card come with your uh, um, DE10 board, but I would certainly recommend a larger card. And in the full setup, we've got the 156 gigabyte SD card, which will be more than enough to support every single core you want to operate. Uh, but initially you could look at maybe, maybe look at a 64 gigabyte uh, card. If you've got already one lying around, just use that one just to get yourself started. You'll find that's more than enough for the core, you know, for majority of the cores that you want to, to use initially. And then you've got the bare bones. Again, D10 board uh, from DigiKey, £121. You definitely need that. Get yourself an external, you know, your own existing USB hub. Uh, again, it's worth looking at buying still the uh, protective plates for the mister uh, if you don't want to have a case. And again, definitely get yourself the uh, fan and heat sink as we did in the minimal setup, the SD card. And again, you can have that, all that set up for £145. The other thing I would like to say as well in the uh, full setups as well, you, you will need to, you know, plug yourself in a USB keyboard and mouse uh to, to help you help you control your mister uh but you you know you, you're bound to have one lying around your loft or your cupboard area you could uh, uh probably use or buy a, a second hand one on ebay if you wanted to uh to help minimize that cost so you know you can get yourself a decent setup for 100 well 348 pounds again the minimum setup 217 pounds would saving you a bit of money and again the bare bones 145 pounds but Bear in mind, these but the bare bones setup doesn't include the RAM, which means this will you will be able to function this as a mister, but you'll be very limited to what you'll be able to do with it. It may be enough just to run a few of the basic arcade cores, but that's about it. You really do need that SD RAM, but maybe you want to get yourself set up. Uh, initially for £145, get it all switched on, get yourself familiar with the kit, and then you can add on the extra bits at a later date, depending on what your budget is. It's fairly easy to get this system built up once you've got all these parts that you've ordered from these uh, the official websites. Um, there are plenty of other YouTube videos out there showing you how to uh, uh, build the unit. Um, and again, plenty of videos on how to get the uh, Mister up and running uh, for the first time. So definitely check those uh, videos out. But initially, this is the equipment you need to get your Mister FPGA purchased and set up. You don't need anything else. Right. Well, I hope you found that uh, uh, video useful and informative. Um, it is really aimed at uh, anyone who is new to the retro scene or uh, is looking to expand their uh, retro gaming hobby and build your own mister setup. Now, as a little bit of a bonus, um, I will talk, have a quick look through my uh, mister as it is and just to give you a, a, a bit of a, a flavour to what to expect. Uh, there are plenty of other videos out there, so I'm sure you've uh, seen this a hundred times before. But uh, uh, as you can see, you, you know you've got uh, uh, several arcade uh, cores that you can you can play and run through. And as you can see, there are hundreds of games you could potentially look at and try out. Uh, 
and then you've got the computers and again you've got plenty of computer old oh, 8 bit computers the Amstrad CPC the Amstrad CPW you've got the uh, Amiga there as well you know you've got the Apple systems the Ataris the BBC Micro the Commodores you know the MSX uh, the Auric as well uh, it even uh, emulates one well, always say emulates simulates uh, a PC as well for a Windows 95 PC the Coco the Dragon the Sam Cube Sinclair QL TRS-80 uh, the Spectrum Next and that's a great call that is a really good call standard 48k or the 128k Spectrum uh, cores and the uh, ZX81s and then you can look at consoles and again plenty of consoles all the Atari the Game Boys the Color Visions uh, Ace Tronic consoles from 1978 in television uh, Sega Master System Neo Geo uh, Nintendo plenty to look at the Wonder Swan, which was a, a recent call. Well, I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful and informative. Uh, if you did, feel free to uh, give us a like and show your support by uh, subscribing to our channel. Uh, we'll be back very soon and hope you enjoy your retro gaming.